Hey everybody, how's it going? Chuck here, PowerX YouTube, FixJeeps.com. Alright, winter's coming upon us, you're going to get snow, you're going to get ice, and those of us who drive soft top Jeeps, sometimes there's a concern with the uh, ice and the snow weighing down the top of your Jeep. So, easy fix, very inexpensive fix. So, yeah, look at there, right there. Easy fix, come on, let's go do this. Okay, here's what you need. Two of these. This is two by two by half inch, and the camera ain't gonna pick that up, I don't think. Anyway, two by two by half inch. Those are like a couple bucks at Lowe's, something like that. This is some scrap half inch uh, PVC I had laying around, and PVC padding. Then something to cut the plastic pipe with. So first thing we gotta do, we're gonna notch these. Okay, if you notice here, I've got a mark there, mark there. That's what I did. This old cheapy miter box here. You got a line here and here. That's for whenever you make your straight cuts. I'm gonna drop the saw blade in. Let's see, see, that's where you make your straight cuts at. So what I did was put the plastic piece, put the T in, and just kind of played with it till I could feel it is sitting inside that groove. Now slide up and take this and butt it all the way down. Slide up there. See how to put the marker there? Now slide it back. It's still inside that groove. Come back. Push the mark there. Flip it over till this is touching this side. Feel it till you feel it fall in that groove. Right there. Keep it in the groove. Slide it back. You see right there. And what that does, it creates mark here mark here you see it takes out a section of it so it's going to wrap around your roll bar padding are y'all getting a clue yet so all right i'm going to cut them out real quick i'll be right back with you i'm going to go ahead and knock them both down so you see what's going on all right everybody here you go got them all cut out now now you can see where i took the miter box the mark 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 and it just kind of showed me my cut lines that's where i can make my cuts out obviously another option you can do if you had this half inch part stuck outward at 90 degrees properly you can just simply make a straight cut through here measure in about a third and take off that section now this does a little bit better than 180 degree wrap it's just a little added security for your roll bar that you know it's not going to pop off a smack in the head but honestly if you did did do just a 180 degree cut i think it'd be fine too so once you make your cut Take your razor knife, your tilting knife, go through here, scratch this right here, get all the rough edges off so it's nice and smooth and doesn't scratch on your hand or anything. Or uh, scratch on your roll bar patty for also. So let's put this in place and look at it. Okay, take your part here. Just kind of right in there. You see how it envelops the padding right there. And once you get in place, your half inch PVC is going to be tilted upward like that. It's going to form an arc come across your bow right here. make it a bow come across the top right here so we're gonna pop the other one in real quick and we'll look at it there's the driver's side in place passenger side piece in place now you see i'm gonna pull this one right here around a little bit get a good shot here how it envelops the roll bar padding real well just a little added precaution to make sure it doesn't conk you in the head which it shouldn't once the uh half inch bow that goes in right here once that's put in now that comes to question half inch pvc makes an arc across through here now you can get a tape measure and drive yourself nuts trying to measure it and trust me it'll about drive you nuts because tape measure going over there it keeps wanting to fall down it's just nuts you don't have to do it that way there's an easy way uh just to give you guys save you a little time if you got a yj stock yj my measure 47 and a quarter inches from there to here being the correct length that I use to make the proper arc for this. But if you do not have, if you got a custom roll cage, here's what you do. Take this, put it in there, and make sure it's seated good. Twist it, turn it, make sure it seats well. <clears throat> okay, hold it a second. I just run out of hands officially. Okay, here's a half inch PVC. It's inserting real well there. It's bottom fitting here. Here, 
Yeah, my girlfriend left her ponytail holder in the Jeep, so guess what? I'm using it on YouTube. Ha 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 ha. So what you're going to basically do is, <clears throat> where the pipe here, where the intersection where the half inch comes into the uh, two inch here, that intersection here, project the line straight down. That, from there, you add about an inch and a quarter, or inch and a quarter, inch and a half or so here. That's going to make it too long from point to point. But what that's also going to give you is the ability to make that arc to push up on the top. So I'm going to finagle this thing in place and I'll be right back. Now about the easiest way I've seen to put this thing in place, again that was about, and this one's sitting there in that position. What I did, I slid this down, insert that into there, take your hand, pull back on it. I can do this with one hand because you got to make the bow happen anyway what's gonna happen I can't do this with, with one hand you gotta bend this upward to form the arc which will allow it to seat in there then you just slide this back into position so let me do that and I'll show you real quick and there it is so what I did was I had one hand here got one end in the proper angle to go inside there and then I took my hand here I pushed up on that bow right there to make it bow up which allowed it to go drop inside here and seat. Now at this point that will slide back here as you push up here. Push this up into the arc here and this will slide back. Alright there it is in place and as far as spacing this way really it's going to come down to your top, your Jeep, your top or whatever is where you need the support in the middle of this and if you want to get weighed down by lots of snow or ice or if your tops loose enough that you got rain issues building up into it that you need to figure out where to be the best placement to support that so nice little bow you know if you make it a little bit longer it'll push up on the top a little more you know you adjust it to where you feel like the liking is but bear in mind the longer you make this bow the bigger pain the butt it is to get in there so now let's do one more thing because we got the bare plastic here on the top. Pipe insulation. And what this is just a regular eight foot piece right here. I just cut it in half. And, and there it is. Therefore, give a little extra protection for your top so you get no abrasion because you can see here pretty much the same stuff. And this is the factory uh, best top stuff here. So, there it is. Pretty sweet. We gotta get you a better shot. So, that's how you can support your top in the event of no heavy, if you got a loose enough top that rains an issue or heavy ice or snow, that'll support it. So how's that for an easy fix? A little bit of cheap, inexpensive pipe, a little bit of time. You've got great support for your soft top in the event of heavy snow and heavy ice. Hey, you got to take care of them when you can. So everyone, if you like that video, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and leave those comments down below. You can tell me how you'd like to support your top, or if you're some way you'd like to see something different done like that. Let me know. So everyone, remember, thumbs up, comments, subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget the site, www.fixcheaps.com. This video and lots of other great information lands right there. So go check it out, fixcheaps.com. Everyone, have yourself a great day. Peace out. Later, y'all.